Okay, we are on the PCH, as they call it, Pacific Coast Highway. <clears throat> and um, as you can see, it's extremely busy. I don't know, oh, you can't see it, but it's extremely busy. <laughs> and our gym is right on the PCH. And oh, there's parking right there, right on the street. Oh, and there's parking back here. Okay. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I don't know if they're gonna let us like park here overnight. I don't know why they would care. Oh, These are rather tiny spaces. All right, we're gonna see if we can park. These are really tiny spaces. But I'll try it. You can see how tiny the spaces are and we're really sticking out. We've got a light pole behind us. I'm going to try to pull it in past the overhang. Oh, I heard something. Did you hear something? I did not. Let me go check. Hold on. All right. So let me show you something. So we're in the back. The mud flaps have hit. I don't think I can. Oh yeah, they're in there good and tight. Whatever, that's okay. We have some room. There is a, oh, a tree back here. It's a little bit sloped. You can't really tell. It's sloped that way down. So we're gonna have to see how that, it's not level. Um, so we're gonna have to see how that works for tonight. Residential neighborhood, that's the gym. This is parking for Anytime Fitness, all other, will be towed at his expense. Well, we are members of Anytime Fitness. So this may be where we, we're under a big bright light over here. That's okay, we've done that before. And um, so just to show you, residential, that's the PCH over there. Okay, very busy. There's parking right here though. Right here, look at this. Right here. We could park right on the street here. No parking Thursday, that's fine. Right beyond those buildings is the ocean. Yeah, I would not want to be on this street. And this is the gym here, the front. There is parking on the street here. I don't know. That's a parking area. Anyway, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're gonna make dinner. Okay, well, at the very least, this is where we are gonna make dinner. So we're gonna start dinner now. Lovely dinner plan tonight on the beautiful PCH. <laughs> And Jillio's got one more call to do. And uh, then we'll decide if we're gonna overnight here or not. Um, we're at least gonna use the facilities to not, you know, before we leave to, to get cleaned up. But um, yeah, the van, I mean, it fits in okay. I'm not, I'm not too terribly worried about it. Okay, let's go make some dinner. Okay, time to make dinner in the parking lot of an Anytime Fitness. <laughs> it's the gourmet dinner, Anytime Fitness gourmet dinner. Tonight, though, we are doing something lovely. We are doing a panko crusted chicken with sun dried tomato butter sauce. Now, this particular recipe calls for pan frying, and uh, Jillio and I do not want to do that. It's an express recipe, meaning super simple to do. I think the time says that it's only, uh, it says it's 15 minutes. But um, I, I think we're going to, uh, I think we're going to try baking it into our little electric oven. I think that's what we're going to do. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 
I did decide to bake it instead of pan fry it. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, this is, it's very simple. You just put the green beans in. There's a little bit of garlic pepper seasoning on them. And then on the chicken, you just put a little bit of crushed red pepper. And then one side of it's just you press panko to. And then we're just going to cover the side with the beans with aluminum foil and bake it. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on it just to, um, just to make sure it doesn't stick. And the bottom and the beans will, you know, cook a little bit nicely. So we're just going to do that. Drizzle some on there on top of the... There we go. Okay. And then I'll make the, the, the final, the sauce, and that'll be it. So let me just put a little bit of aluminum foil here over this side. Um, you know, I don't need this whole... I reuse my aluminum foil. I think I get that from my grandmother who reused paper towels. Um, but if it's not dirty like this, then I just <laughs> just reuse it. Don't touch me! It's better on the environment and on my pocketbook, to be quite honest with you. Okay. It'll just help the beans cook a little bit. All right. We like our beans a little bit more crispy. There we go. And now we're just going to bake it. There's nothing nothing else to do. Now, this little oven that I'm putting it into, um, it doesn't really need preheating because it's, um, it's so tiny. So then we just go to um, chicken. So we're just going to go to, I don't know, probably three. Let's put it maybe in... 375 and we'll do it for 20 minutes that's it okay the last thing we need to do is we have to make the two sauces there's an aioli sauce for the green beans and then there's the um, pesto butter for the chicken so we're going to make that now we need two bowls to make them in um, you know what? These are perfect bowls to use. They're, they're little teacups, but they're going to be fine. So we need to combine in one of them the lemon juice and mayonnaise and pinch of pepper. So here's our lemon juice. Okay. Our mayonnaise. I think Julie and I decided we're going to try to just stay here tonight. Let's see how that goes. If not, there, there seems to be plenty of kind of parking around here. Okay, and just a pinch of pepper. And we just want to combine that so. Just get a spoon here. These are the little Velcro things that I got to keep them from rattling in there. It looks great. This is going to go, this is the aioli that's going to go on the green beans. You know, the wonderful thing that I've learned about these meals are they're so simple, but what makes the meal is oftentimes the sauces. Almost every meal I get, even the cheap ones, which are only $8.99, they always have you making some type of sauce. Um, and I really do think it adds to the quality of the meal. I was never a, a sauce guy before, mainly because I didn't know how to make them, but um, kind of have become one. Okay, and then we want to do, oh dear, what's this herb de Provence? 
What was this supposed to go into? There's some and garlic pepper. What's this? This is supposed to go on the chicken. Oh, well, we'll put that on the end. I forgot to put that in the chicken. And I don't know why they gave us Herbe de Provence. See here? They gave us this. I'm looking through the ingredient list, and um, it doesn't list Herbe de Provence. So we might use it. I don't know. We could also stick that on the beans or something like that. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. That goes on the chicken. Crushed red peppers. So we need to just take this softened butter and pesto. And you know what, folks? I don't think we need this here, but we can just do it right inside there. Save ourselves a dish. How's that? I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, there's our softened butter. You know what? I am going to just... Why not? Oh God, Ricardo, don't judge me for this. I'm going to use a little bit of this in here just because we have it. And um, I think I'm going to soften this just a little bit, just just 10 seconds here in the microwave. Let me just do that. Just to, it'll be easier for me to mix. softer, fairly soft. After this, we're we're done. We just wait for the chicken to finish baking and uh, and we're, we're complete. Sauces are done. Mmm. That's a nice, that's going to be nice on the chicken. Okay, I'm just going to make a little bubbly carbonation to accompany our dinner. So I've got my handy portable soda maker by OTE. These are great if you're in a van because the, you know, soda stream ones are really tall. They're really big. These are great. You just put the capsule right in. It's magnetic. Then you just put it on the top. And then you just squeeze it. You just turn it and... There you go. So that's ready to go for din din. Just put that here. And... Um, Just waiting. We've got just five more minutes on the chicken. I just took the took a look at it, and it's looking really nice, really good. That's the sound of dinner being done. Okay, let's plate it. Oh, yes! Look how lovely that looks. Doesn't that look lovely? Ah. Okay, let's get it plated. Okay. All right, well... There's our dinner. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Oh. Whoa. A little bit of extra pop there. That must mean it's extra fizzy. Oh yeah. Whoa. You know it was already there was already carbonated in there because I had some previous so 
Oh, it's so fizzy. <laughs> it's so bubbly. We're getting low on cartridges. We're, we're down to four. So I've got new ones that just arrived at the house. So <laughs> That's so bubbly. It's, <laughs> it's so bubbly. Can you hear it? Is it good? Delicious. Oh, as my friend Scott's family likes to say, the world cannot harm us, for we have dined. <laughs> bon appetit. This is um, extra special. I, I love fancy dinners in the van. Mmm. Oh, the chicken. Perfectly cooked in the steam oven. Nice crispy panko outside. That uh, pesto butter herb sauce. Very nice. Now the green beans. Let's try the green beans. Mmm. Perfectly steam cooked. Still crunchy. Not all wilty. And then the um, aioli has that little bit of lemon. Chicken's so juicy. Chicken's juicy, Giulio says. And the aioli is nice and kind of creamy. And then you have the uh, grated parmesan. It's all very nice. Well, thank you for joining us at Shea Panoramic. Or Shea, Shea Giulio and Neal's. <laughs> or the Panoramic Cafe. Whatever we want to call it. All right. We're going to enjoy our dinner now. All right. My friend, it is time for us to make some fancy tea for dessert. So let's do that. This was a Christmas gift to me from my daughter. She knows me so well. She knows my favorite teas. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do some chocolate wafer cookies. Just put a few of those on. Just kind of like that. Ready? And then did it pop? There we go, it popped. Okay, let's go ahead and pour our tea. So, for dessert, we have dark chocolate with hazelnut, and we have little double chocolate wafer squares. Okay. Bon appetit, my handsome man. Let it steep a little. It's a, it's a lovely golden color now. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it'll spill out, but it's a lovely golden color. Okay, it's that time of the evening where it is time to get ready for bed. So I'm going to get all my stuff. I'm going to go into the, behind you, the uh, Anytime Fitness. We have another van parked beside us here i don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign i don't we've already had people walking by looking in the van i don't want them complaining to the 
your management at uh, the fitness center. And now we have another van out there. So there's two of us parked out here. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. We'll see. I think we need to be prepared that we might get kicked out of here. But I'm a member of the gym, so I can go use the facility. So that is what I'm going to do. All right, let's go. All in all, good day. We are parked here in the Anytime Fitness parking lot. And uh, going to hit the sack. Hopefully no knocks, right? Hopefully. We don't have a backup plan, do we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if, if the, someone comes a knock and I don't know what we're going to do, but hopefully not. All right. Ignore them. We'll ignore them. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in the morning. Good night.